This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this chapter, we'll take a look at chroma keying or color keying. This is also known as the blue screen or green screen effect. As part of the broadcast, a green screen is keyed out and replaced by motion graphics necessary for each segment of a program. You can do the same thing in motion using keying filters. Let's take a look. Launch motion. From the project browser, choose create project from file and navigate to your working files, lesson seven, green screen, and choose medium shot Russell Green. Click import as project to create a brand new motion project based around this clip. Press shift Z to center in the canvas. Let's play back our project. This clip is my friend Russell shot in front of a green screen pulling out a gun. As we can see, the original video is interlaced. Stop around frame 29 and you can see the interlacing in the gun. Before we do any keying effects, again keying is the process of removing the color, we want to remove the interlacing. We can do that a few different ways, but the easiest way to do it is from the filters pop-up, choose video, deinterlace. Immediately the interlacing is fixed. Now before we create our key, let's make sure we have a background to test this against. Jump to the beginning of the project and navigate to your working files, lesson seven, green screen folder, and find the texture.jpg. Drag this into the project pane below the other group. Let's hide the Russell group and make sure this fills our entire canvas by holding the option key and dragging to the left. It doesn't matter if this image is distorted because it looks fine. Bring back the top layer, make sure the clip is selected, and from the filters pop up, choose keying, keyer. In previous versions of motion, there were about five different keyers. They've all been replaced by two different keyers, the generic keyer and the luma keyer. When we apply the keyer, we'll see it does a pretty good job right out of the box. Play back the project, and things look pretty good. To right about frame 26, we can see through his arm. So let's modify this keyer to make it look a little bit better. With the keyer selected, navigate to the inspector, filters, and we want to focus on the keying filter. If the key did not do a good job of finding the color green, we can use the sample color to refine the key. The three buttons here allow us to see the composite mode, the map mode or alpha channel, and the original image. To refine the key, click sample color, then click and drag to sample the green screen. Now return to composite mode, and you can see the effect of the sample color. But again, we need to fix the part of his arm. This can be easily adjusted by turning down the strength. Something about 22 works pretty well. Because this is a pretty good green screen, we can work with just the strength. Let's turn it back up to 100 and navigate to frame 27. Let's zoom in on the canvas. We can use the space bar and click and drag to pan, and we can see another option, edges. As long as the key is selected, you can command click and drag to refine the edge. From here, drag the slider to adjust the strength of the edge. In this case, this is not the best option, so option click to remove the edge. Again, for this key, I think setting the strength to about 20 is going to be our best option. Press Shift Z to return to full screen. Let's add a second shot to this. Bring up the timing pane by pressing F6. Navigate to the file browser, and look for the close-up. Let's find right about where the gun lands, and we'll cut to the close-up. Select the medium shot and press the O key to set an out point, and drag close-up to the group.
From here, we may be able to just duplicate our filters, or we can apply them to the group as a whole. Select the keyer and the D in our lace filter and drag it to the group. Make sure to set their out point to the end of the project. Play this back from the beginning, and let's take a look. It looks pretty good. We have a couple issues though. The gun has a slight transparency in it, and he looks a little purple. We can fix the purple real easily by selecting the keyer, choose inspector, and we want to adjust the spill level. What spill level does, if I turn off the keyer, we can see that sometimes our green will spill onto the character, creating a green cast. You can see that in the knuckles, in his hair, and a little bit on his face. This is called spill. To counteract spill, we use a spill suppressor or a spill level. For green screens, we add magenta to balance out the green. For a blue screen, we use yellow. If we turn down the spill level, we can see the green comes back. If you turn it up just enough to get rid of the green, he loses the color cast. Let's see how that looks in the first scene. Pretty good. We have a couple options for working with the transparency in the gun. We can try the fill holes parameter, which in this case works extremely well. Let's return to the beginning of the project and group the entire project. Select both groups, right click or control click and choose group. Now with the entire group selected, Navigate to Filters, Color Correction, Contrast. Turning up the contrast gives it more of a film look. One last thing we want to do, return to the Keying filter, and under Light Wrap, turn up the amount just a bit. By turning up light wrap, it takes any luminance values from the background and wraps it around the foreground as if it was casting light. Sometimes the lighten mode works a little bit better. Let's play this back from the beginning. And things look pretty good.